They just do what they always do. Why is he you know, putting Leo Komarov on the first line? Like, Welcome to the Rock. So, as you guys all know, this is an Olympic year. Um, and we actually should be getting, I think, a, a answer sometime soon whether or not NHL players are going to the Olympics for sure, making 100%. I know it's been speculated, and when they released the schedule, they accounted for the Olympic break, but um, hasn't been finalized. And uh, they didn't go four years ago. And I think back to the year where Zach Parise scored the tying goal. Um, and the last seconds, and I just remember that feeling going nuts because you, you wanted your country to win gold. Um, hasn't happened in a long time. I remember that feeling. I was ecstatic only for Crosby to crush every American's dream with that goal on Ryan Miller, which, you know, I think he would like to have back. I think Crosby surprised him a little bit. But that feeling that when Parise scored that goal was amazing. And it just makes me want the USA to win gold so badly if they go. But – I look at Canada's potential roster, and I'm not sure we could beat the Canadians. Um, you know, just, they, they, they are so stacked at pretty much every position that, you know, for instance, Mike, Mike Johnson, some of the guys on TSN, on this is from July 28th, they were kind of like making uh, like a mock Canadian roster. And I'm going to read this to you, and you tell me if the Team USA could compete with this because I'm, I'm not – I'm not so sure that they can. So Mike Johnson's roster was um, left wings, Brad Marchand, Jonathan Huberto, Ryan O'Reilly, Sean Couturier. I mean, we all know what Marchand is, a pest, a hell of a goal scorer, plays a gritty game. Huberto, amazing player. We all see what he's doing the last couple of years. Silky mitts, just he does, he does finishing scoring goals. He can do it all. R- Ryan O'Reilly, we saw what he did for St. Louis. After getting out of that hell of Buffalo, he just – he became a hell of a, hell of a player defensively, fierce forechecker, face-off guy, kills penalties, can score goals. And then you have Sean Couturier, who is one of the better defensive forwards in the league and can score goals. Centers, he has Crosby, McDavid, McKinnon, Point, and Barzell. I mean, guys, do I have to say anything else further about that center group? I, honestly, I'm not even going to because it would be it would honestly be disrespectful to those players for me to break for, for me to break that all down. That, that center depth is just – it's disgusting, and there's nothing else that needs to be said about it. I could stop right there. I need to say the rest of the rest of the team. Um, right wings, Patrice Bergeron, Mark Stone, Mark Shifley, Mitch Marner, John Tavares. I mean, again, for Bergeron, Selkie winner, just phenomenal hockey player. Mark Stone, that's another Selkie winner, but could score 30 goals. Just Mark Shifley, you know, offensive dynamo. Um, Mitch Marner, we all see what he could do. I mean, he's an amazing player. And then you have Tavares, who, even though I think the last year or so, is, I thought his, his game, has, he hasn't been a dynamic. He's still a hell of a player. And then defense, on the left side, he has Shea Theodore, Adam Pellick, Morgan Riley, and Thomas Shabbat. I mean, that that's that's a good group. Morgan Riley, I don't really think that great, personally. I think he's not that good defensively. But I can see the value he brings offensively. Uh, we all know about Pellick. He's emerging as one of the best uh, shutdown defensemen in the league, so it's really nice to see him get that recognition. Um, and then Theodore, Theodore is awesome, and Shabbat's really good offensively. On the right side, Peter Angelo, Makar, Hamilton, and Jared Spurgeon. Um, you know, again, that, that's that's an impressive group. I mean, Kale Makar along with Adam Fox, one of the best young defensemen in the league. Uh, Peter Angelo could still bring it. Hamilton, we just discussed earlier, um, you know, he's a good defenseman. And then in goal, which we we the three of us have talked about this: Carey Price, Mark Andre Fleury, and Darcy Kemper. Um, Fleury's getting older, you know. Price, you know, he he's good, but he's getting up there too. But he showed that he can still play at a high level in the finals. Um, but boys, this 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 roster that Mike Johnson laid out. I don't know if the United States could top that. I mean, let's listen to your thoughts, but. Um, and listen, we still, have, you know, Austin Matthews, Patrick Kane, you know, Connor Hellebuck and goal. You know, I get it. It's a good team and they're they're deep. But that center group I read to you there before, Mc, Crosby, McDavid, McKinnon, Point, Barzell. I mean, one of them's either going to be a scratch or have to move to an off wing. I mean, that it's just I think, sadly, it, it's too much for our boys to to realize the dream and, and win gold. I, I hope I'm wrong if they go. And I hope I hope they could 
they could do it, but that's a that that's a steep, talented Canadian team that we're going up against. And also, by the way, our own center depth is going to be a problem because Jack Eichel is probably going to get surgery. He ain't playing in the Olympics. Probably not. I mean, at the, at this point, if it doesn't, if it, something doesn't happen soon, he's probably not playing. Um, and that that that's a big thing for them. I mean, with Eichel, they're they're a much more competitive team with Canada. That that forward group is stacked, like Anthony said. The defense, I think USA can match them on defense. In goal, USA has a clear cut advantage. You have you have Gibson and Hellebuck over any of those three goaltenders right now. I'm taking I'm taking those guys. But um, I, I I just can USA hold Canada to two one games, three two games, and, and keep it close and play a tight knit defensive game against them. It's it's going to be tough with that kind of depth. It really is. Can you can you imagine the, the the five man power play unit that Canada could throw out there? I mean they they could they, I mean they probably wouldn't do it because they're all centers, but they could put out McDavid, Crosby, McKinnon all together, all together on a on a power play, and and still throw out a guy like Braden Point or you know it's just it's just it's. I would just imagine those three with Kale McCarr. I mean, it really might not even matter much who the fifth player is. <laughs> Power play is disgusting. I mean, that's 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 a ridiculous. I mean, you ridiculous. you would have two absolute zone entry monsters, and guys like McDavid, McKinnon, and then McCarr. Three, I should say, zone entry monsters. And those three, and I, either one of those three is just more than capable of absolutely backing opposing defenses off the line and gaining the zone with ease. But I mean, Rick. Rick brings up a good point. The USA beat the USA team beat the Russians in 1980. Yeah, anything. Yeah. And it's it's a one game. It's a one game, you know, thing. And it's just like the old adage for football: any given Sunday. But I mean, I don't know, man. This this is this is something else. But I mean, like I said, if if USA has a chance, the defense has got to be great, and their goaltending has got to be great because the forward group without Jack Eichel isn't looking good enough to compete with them. Um, with Eichel, it's closer, but there's still a gap. That's still putting a lot of pressure on Austin Matthews. Go ahead, Anthony. And, and the, the, th- the thing is, too, is look at – but so that Canadian team, you're talking Patrice Bergeron and Ryan O'Reilly and Mark Stone, who are all three great defense – like shut shutdown guys. I mean, on top of being good offensively, that's, that, that's a tough task for the USA to have to face those shutdown guys. I mean, yeah. I yeah. mean, when you have two way forwards that can score and shut down like that, I mean, you're literally you could put that 2016 World Cup of Hockey line back together, and they could be an absolute thorn in anybody's side. That yeah, Bergeron Marshad line and Crosby. Yeah. Now, just for, uh, I, on this same thing, um, Emily Kaplan from ESPN, um, I guess because she's American like made her American team. She has Hellebuck, John Gibson, and, and Jack Campbell in goal with Slavin, Rorinsky, McDonough, Hughes on the left side, McAvoy, Seth Jones, Adam Fox, John Carlson on the right side. And then the forwards, you have Matthew Kachuk, Kyle Connor, Johnny Gaudron, Max Pacioretty as the left wingers, Austin Matthews, Jack Eichel, Dylan Larkin, JT Miller, Jack Hughes at the centers, and Patrick Kane, Jake Gensel, Alex DeBrincat, Blake Wheeler, and Brock Besser on the right side. I mean, that's still an, an like that's an impressive yeah. that's an impressive team. But did they announce who USA's coaches? I know, I know. Uh, Cooper and Trotz are the co- or head coach for of Canada. Coach in Canada. I don't know if the United States um, named a coach yet. Uh, maybe they did, and I, I missed it. Um, but. No, that that that's a good group there. But I mean, when you when you're talking McDavid, McKinnon, Crosby, I mean that it's just it's just a lot of talent. And I I know someone wrote 1980, the USA beat Russia, but that was different. It it was different, you know. Well, because that was different because Herb Brooks was doing it for about two years. 
And China. obviously, anything can ha- anything can happen. I mean, neither of these countries can win. You know, Russia or Sweden can win or whatever. But it's just going to be tough. That this Canada team is probably the most talented team they've had in, in a while. I mean, that team right there that Mike Johnson laid out. I mean, it's I think it's better than the gold medal team in 2010 for sure. Just, just in the fact that Connor McDavid wasn't there alone. I mean, and he's the in a talent like that. I mean that's yeah. that's that's unbelievable, and you know what? Um, the USA did name a coach, by the way. It's Mike Sullivan. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I, I thought it was a different groan you had for a second, and I was like, oh. yeah, so, I mean, I, if, I... so if they end up sending NHL players to the Olympics, that's what our boys are up against, and. You know that's that's just a tall, a t- tall order, and you can't you can't discount the the Russians either. I mean, the Russians are going to have Vasilevsky, you know, Varlamov, and then probably me and John talked about this after you left you know, when you guys came. Probably either Shosturkin or Sorokin as the third goalie on the team. But I mean, which at which point won't matter because Vasilevsky will probably play all the games anyway. Mm. But I mean, Russia is going to have probably the best goaltending of of the bunch. And even them, their forward group, I mean, they're older now, but you have Ovechkin, you have Malkin, Datsuk still playing in the KHL, so Datsuk will probably be there. Um, you know, Kovalchuk probably play there too, even though he's not the same player he used to be. But, you know, Kaprizov, Kuznetsov, you know, and then they have whatever guys playing in the KHL that they'll probably like, likely add to their team, Nikita Kucherov. So that's that's another team that could pose a lot of problems too. Yeah, no Panera for Russia. That could be that could possibly be a problem, and that could be a good thing for everyone else. So we should yeah. make him an American citizen right now. Yeah, please. Yeah. All right, so guys, yeah, what do you think about uh, USA? As chances against Canada and Canada's outrageous depth. Um, what are the what are the teams are you looking for in the Olympics? Throw it down in the comments below, guys. And, of course, like, share, and subscribe. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mm, Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.